morning. Got a very nice new engine here that I just got off of eBay. This is a Sato 45 Mark II engine. Um, bought it, it was complete with all paperwork, box, everything. In fact, it's a very, very pristine engine. Uh, the description didn't really describe it too well on eBay. Uh, so I wasn't really sure what to expect, but man, what a surprise. Uh, it had every piece of paperwork that it ever shipped with an engine, I believe. And it also had the original invoice of when this was bought originally, which dated back to 1988, which was pretty cool. So this is a low runtime engine. I did take it down completely and clean it all up. Didn't need to do too much cleaning. It still has the original bearings in it that I found in it, whether they've been replaced or not, I don't know. They seem like they're in good shape. This will be the first run of this engine. Another thing I'm going to do with this engine is I'm going to do an experiment where I install different cam gears and cam housings on here, one from a Sato 50 and then a Sato 56, just for the heck of it to see what happens, because I believe that the Sato 56 type of cam timing gear is what made a 45 a 45S. So I'm going to just see if I can make this a 45S. Another thing that's interesting to note about this engine is the muffler it came with. I've never quite seen a muffler like this come with a Sato 45. I've seen it come with a 50 and a 65, the early, really early versions of that. So I don't know if this is an original piece on the engine or not. But I have an APC 11.6 prop, a brand new Inion number no. 3 glow plug. I've never run this engine yet. This will be the first time, and I've got the needle valve set to two turn, two and a half turns open. So let's see what it does.
grab it. It looks like my battery died while I was in the middle of that run, or at least part of the way through the run. I don't know how much longer I'm going to have here. Um, I was able to get this thing to turn up to 9,990 RPM. I didn't leave it there for very long because I don't really want to destroy this engine. So I backed it down to a more comfortable like 9,000 RPM, but 99.9 is pretty good for this engine with the stock cam. Uh, we'll see what the Sato 50 cam does now. Okay, here's the same Sato 45 engine that I just ran about I don't know, 25 minutes ago. Uh, it looks a little different now because I've taken the rocker covers off and I've actually swapped out the timing or the cam gear and the cam gear housing and push rods for my Sato 50 engine. So the original ones that were on here are no longer on here now for this run. We're going to run it with this cam gear and housing, the shorter push rods. Things are different and it's all documented in my blog post. Um, exact same prop, everything's the same except this portion here now it feels like it still has the same awesome compression so let's see what kind of numbers we can get Okay, I let it die there, but uh, as you can see, it looks like it hit about 10,400 maybe, and I richened it up there at the end because I don't want to kill this engine. It's a really nice engine. I'm just doing this as an experiment, but the original cam gear housing, the most I could get was 9,990 RPM before it started dropping off. This one, it looked like it hit about 10,400, so we're looking at about, you know, 480 or so RPM increase with just that timing gear cam uh, change there. It was weird because I didn't even need to adjust the needle valve at all and I had the needle valve on the last run set uh, fairly rich because uh, I had backed it out again to richen it up and this time it was almost peaked right where it was which was kind of odd. I didn't even really need to tweak it too much. In fact when I started to tweak it and uh, lean it out just a hair is when it started to drop down so it was almost already peaked then. But uh, I think that was a pretty cool experiment, and I love this engine. Uh, it looks kind of cool like this. It's not going to stay like this. I have a buddy from RC Groups that's sending me a, a 56, Sato 56 uh, cam gear. So I'll drop it in here when that comes, and then we'll take some more measurements. And I would expect that I'll probably get closer to 11,000 RPM with that. But uh, we'll see.